guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i wanted to step out of my comfort zone a little bit and just basically do my makeup how i normally wouldn't i'm thinking glitter eyeliner on top of a regular black liner i've only attempted that once and it turned out like a complete disaster but it's up on youtube i'll link it down below but you guys can go and make fun of me in that video i think my makeup skills have evolved a little bit over that time so yeah without further ado let's hop right in so i've been trying to use different products in my video i've been trying to come out with various series on my youtube channel just to stay active and give you guys something different to watch you know because i just still want to continue to do makeup videos you know like i want to do a little bit of everything that's why i haven't been uploading only makeup videos you know so i'm going to pin my hair back with this kitty ears first i'm just gonna spray my face with this farsali rose gold skin mist i love this but i just don't like the scent it's just not a scent for me after that i'm just gonna wait till that dries i'm gonna put on this beauty by pizza crystal clear on my lips just to prep them and then after that i'm gonna go in to this saturday skin waterfall glacier water cream i'm still waiting to purchase another one of these but literally a little of this product go a very long way and I saw like a surgeon on TikTok that basically said putting on moisturizer is bad for you. I'll link the TikTok down below because I don't know exactly what you said. I just know that moisturizing your face daily is bad for your skin. So I'll just like link that down below so you guys can check that out. You guys can also check his TikTok out because he has some pretty good content, some pretty weird content. Um, I follow him now. Next, I'm gonna go into this Too Faced Hangover. This is the um big one the hangover primer just to give my skin a little bit more hydration i'm going to take two pumps of this on my hand and just apply all over my face i literally was just saying that moisturizing your skin is bad and here i am double moisturizing Do you guys like my nails? I literally did them myself. They're not perfect yet, but with practice, they will be perfect. They're chunky and they are literally not the same size if you look at my thumb compared to this pointer finger. My thumbs are longer than the rest of my fingers, but with practice, I can tell I'll get better at this. I need to stop rambling because we're five minutes into this video and I just put on base and that's it. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is put primer everywhere i have another one of these urban decay eyeshadow primer potions but i'm just gonna like use this till i can't use it anymore because you know we don't want to waste product so i'm just gonna blend that in and my brows i literally have not done them since late december and it's late may right now so we love that Afterwards, I'm just going to go off camera and do my brows. I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. I want to find a dupe for this because, I don't know, I want to just not only use the Anastasia Dip Brow. I want to use other ones. So if you guys have any recommendations, literally comment them down below. I'm, I want to go makeup shopping soon because I feel like i've been using the same products so if you guys have any makeup suggestions i know you guys have been leaving some on my most recent makeup tutorial and i really appreciate that so if you guys have any more just just leave them down below okay i'm finally done with my brows i just filled them in and i used the sephora collection bright future gel serum concealer and you guys know this this is in the shade dulce de leche and i just like carved it out a little bit i didn't want to show you guys the entire process because it takes too long and if i'm talking while i'm like doing stuff it'll take even longer so that's why i did that so yeah now i'm just gonna set my eyeshadow primer in place you guys know the drill with this and i'm gonna do that with this oh my god why is this so hard to like open with this wet and wild mega glow contouring palette i'm gonna use a darker shade this is in the shade dos leche as well i'm just going to take this real techniques brush and I just pat the darker shade in. Um, I wanted to speak to you guys about like my recent videos. So like you guys know that I'm more active on YouTube now because like school is out and literally I have nothing to do. But I get so much anxiety in front of a camera. I don't know why, but I do. And I'm just gonna go into this Ace Beauty Vintage Dawn palette. I love this palette. And by the way, if I'm talking too fast because I'm like well caffeinated right now, I'm having 
having a strawberry acai refresher from Starbucks. But yeah, I get so much anxiety in front of a camera and I just fumble my words and like it bothers me when I'm editing but it's just like I have to like pump out videos. I need to be more active. I want to do social media and I see social media in my future so I need to go through these phases where I can grow from if that makes sense. Just gonna take a darker shade and just pop it in the crease. When that's happening I feel like I don't feel bad about myself but I just like like I messed up like oh my god and I'm a perfectionist so like when this happens it's it takes a toll on me emotionally but again I'm just gonna pump out content I love doing this I love doing makeup and I know so many people love watching me do makeup so that's why I choose to stay you know active on YouTube but with time I will definitely get better I think I've come a far away already because I don't mess up in my videos as much and you know I, it's just YouTube is kind of second nature since I've been doing this since 2017 I picked up on a lot of things since then next I'm gonna go into this darker shade called fade and I'm just going to go in with this brush I do not know what this brush is from but I'm sure I got it in my boxy charm there's other things that I want to talk to you guys about I just forgot oh yeah I also want to talk to you guys about like beauty by pizza like my website my brand may has been such a phenomenal month for me i chose to donate some of my profit to a non-profit organization and like i feel like that's been the most rewarding experience out of my brand because i'm a person that i love giving back i love giving to charity i grew up giving to charity like that's what my parents taught me and that's literally what i love doing you know and creating my brand i knew i wanted to give back somehow so i found this app because i use shopify i found this app that will let you donate to nonprofit organizations so i basically was thinking that every single month i would do a different organization because i want that to be part of my brand i want that to be me because that is me you know and that way i can share the money or I can share the profit that I gain with people who don't have what I have, you know? Or who people who don't grow up having what I have. So that's what I want to do. I already chose the organization that I want to do for June and I'm so excited. Hopefully this video comes out before then. I'm going to try to cut my crease with concealer i've never really done that but yolo so i see girls doing it like this and then they like they go like that and you see that line up there that's where they would put the rest of the concealer i usually don't go all the way up like that with my concealer but that's what we're doing today i'm just gonna take my concealer brush and take some more concealer on my brush Beauty by Pizza is coming out with so many more things. Like, I'm so excited for my launch. I just launched my goddess glows, and that's such a success already. I'll show you guys pictures because I've been like taking product photos and they came out so good. I'll just pop some up on the screen. Okay, guys, I don't know if I'm doing this properly, but okay, I'm doing it to the other eye. And I'm not just going to lay like pigment on top of the concealer only, I'm definitely gonna go in with a glitter glue. Hopefully that lays well with the concealer. The only time I practice makeup is on YouTube and that should not be. Like literally, I should be doing my makeup and taking product pictures every day, but I don't. Okay, so I'm gonna just lay this glue on top, the glitter glue by Too Faced. I'm just gonna pour some on the back of my hand and just take this Real Techniques accent brush on it and just lay that on top of the concealer. So now that I did that, this looks like a mess, but okay, we're just gonna roll with it because you know what? YOLO! So now I'm just gonna go into this NYX Shimmer Down Pigment. Um, This is in this shade Almond, and it's just like a very regular like bronzy shade. So I'm gonna go into a flat brush from e.l.f. And I'm just going to take some of that. So this is the tin. I'm just gonna take some of that from the sifter and just apply it. So 
So I just did that. Wow. I hope that putting on false lashes will literally just make everything come together because I don't know how I feel about this right now. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back into my crease shade and just like just add something in. And then I'm just gonna go back into the shade for my outer V and just like perfect everything and blend it out literally because you just want everything to be seamless. So now for the wing. I have not done a wing in a long time and I have a couple different liners with me. Um, but I'm gonna go with this tattoo liner by Kat Von D. I used to love this liner because I used to literally do wing liner every time I went out when I was younger. So let's just see if I still have the skills that I once had. Wish me luck because literally I'm just stepping out of every comfort zone today. that one came out a-okay let's, let's try the other one i'm just going to bring my my bigger mirror right here so i can see everything much 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 clearer and just take a step back because literally this is like life and death right now so i did that and now i'm just going to go into this hopefully i don't mess this up this ColourPop metallic liquid liner and i'm just going to basically put that on the top of my the black liner that i just laid down <sighs> Pray for me. All right, we're just gonna leave it like that. I don't know how I feel about this yet. I'm just gonna do like the rest of my base and we'll figure it out from there. So I'm going to go into foundation. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. And I'm just gonna squirt some of that on the back of my hand. And I'm just going to take my brush, which is the Real Techniques one. I really need to like start cleaning my brushes because this is not cute. And I'm just going to take a sponge and just pat everything in. This is to basically eliminate all of like the brush lines that are left from your brush. Like look at this. Like this definitely needs to get brushed. And that is not a foundation brush at all. But I just love it for foundation. Okay next I'm just going to put some of the Sephora concealer from earlier underneath my eyes. And basically just put some of this pretty vulgar undercover concealer. This is in the shade 63 middle ground all over my face. Just highlight it a bit this looks like war paint but you know we'll still go with so i'm just going to blend 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 I don't know if you guys can see that though, like, is it cute? I don't know, be honest. I just wanted to try something different because I feel like I've been doing the same thing in every single tutorial. So maybe glitter liner is it. All right, so I'm going to go into this Becca, what is this called? Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. This is in the shade Golden Bronze. I love this powder, but only when I'm like a little tan or like darker than I usually am. I don't like to use this in the wintertime at all because it just makes my under eyes look darker than the rest of my face and also i don't like the sifter in this like the sifter makes it hard for me to get the product out okay so now that that is like setting everything i'm just gonna go into chiseling out my cheekbones and bronzing up my face so you guys know this is a favorite of mine it's the fenty beauty bronzer the the sun stalker in the shade coconati this is super dirty i've had it for i think over a year now but i like absolutely love it i'm just gonna take this from an angle brush by the way guys i definitely for C Beauty by Prisa coming out with brushes. I would love to have my own brush line. Okay, after that, I'm gonna use the same bronzer to just warm up the face. I'm just gonna put some of that on my forehead, on top of that contour, and underneath it, basically, I'm gonna go back into the Wet n Wild contouring palette and basically take the banana shade and go underneath that contour. Guys, it's so hard opening this this bronzer. I feel like, I mean, the contour palette. I feel like I'm gonna break a nail. 
and boom you guys have a very contour line chiseled now i'm just going to take the same brush and basically just wipe off all of the bake that i've had and i'm just going to go into the natasha denona bloom blush and glow palette i love this palette i like the blush in this palette it's not too out there let me find a brush brush okay i found this wet and rod brush and i'm just going to go into the darker shade which is this one right here and basically just put that on the apples of my cheeks look at this uh-uh nope it's a cream product so you can definitely 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 go back in with your sponge and just like make it more subtle if you would like so for highlight hmm i think i would go into this palette and just choose this shade right here and uh, just take a fan brush and just basically just sweep that on top of my blush or like on top of where i placed my blush Okay, so next would come lashes. So let me just get out Celestio. I swear to God, I need to start purchasing more lashes because this is not fair that I only show my brand love, you know? Like I wanna like branch out to more brands, but I just genuinely love the lashes that I have on my website. Uh, more lashes coming soon as well. I cannot wait. That's in the works right now. Okay, so I'm just gonna put some duo glue on my lash base. And we're gonna wait till that dries and I'm gonna just take a tweezer because I find that maybe using tweezers will be better Okay, so I got my pair of tweezers I really want to try the black glue I feel like I always get lash glue on like my eyelid and it would just be a whole disaster if that happened Because then my the eyeshadow that I already placed there is going to be black so I just need to like wait until like I'm more I'm better at applying lashes and then I'll take that leap of faith but for right now that ain't happening so I'm just going to basically place that down like this That application was so easy, but the only thing is that my inner corner of this eye never sticks and I do not know why. Like, no matter what lash I use from whatever lash brand, it never seems to stick and that's like a problem. Anyway, so one lash on. Let's go for the other one and I'm just gonna go over the lash band. I am in love with this look. I have not used mascara in such a long time. It's just crazy. I usually only use mascara now for like natural looking makeup. Makeup if I was just to like run out the house, just throwing something on just to look presentable. That's what I would use mascara for. Okay, and just like that, boom. Okay, so now I'm just going to go into my eyeliner and just go over the lash band. Whenever I start putting eye makeup on my eyes, my nose just starts going crazy. I'm in love with this look. Like, I cannot believe, like, I created this. Crazy. Okay, so now that that is done. Okay, my mom just interrupted me and hopefully I did not lose any of the footage because I really love how this turned out. I'd be really bummed if I did. So let's see, what lipstick do I want to go into today? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go bigger go home. I have not done like a really bold lip in a while. I'm just gonna take this Kat Von D lip liner in the shade Home Girl and I'm just going to outline my lips and fill them in. And I'm just gonna go into this Beauty by Pizza. This is chocolate opal and just lay that on top. Ooh, I like that. And like that, we are almost done. I'm just going to take the Farsali Rose Gold Skin Mist that we used in the beginning and just spray that all over. 
and we're done i love how this turned out i cannot like this looks so bomb this lip is actually so much darker in real life i think it's just like my ring light just you know shining through and i don't know if you guys can see but i love the glitter liner and my lashes let's talk about the lashes these lashes are so natural i feel like i will definitely be coming out with more dramatic lashes because these need to be a little bit more dramatic for me but i am in love with this literally i have never done anything like this and it turned out so well i will definitely be stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit um and you guys can like this if you guys agree you guys can give me feedback on my makeup application i am so open to hearing anything you guys have to say and yeah guys um with that i will conclude this video so please give this a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it just as much as i enjoyed creating it for you guys subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already i love new subscribers i love new people watching my videos it makes me feel so good inside so i'll see you guys in my next video bye